my fright came when suddenly the uh, country called Canada was sticking its nose in as a warrior to send people into war to Afghanistan. Those behind the scenes, how many of these beautiful men and women have been sent also into Iraq. Fight, 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 kill, 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 and yet they go to their churches and stand there or sit there piously. But the all of the all I must awaken you to said, Thou shalt not kill that what I have created alive. So what would happen if every country, every person upon this planet said, no killing? Wouldn't it be better to use the Olympics to say, okay, we solve our bad differences, but not like the Romans did in a den of lions? We are at a time upon this planet where I urge each and every one of you to really go within, to really go within and seek peace, be still and reason and be still again and listen to your hearts of hearts. I do not believe that whatever religion you are, whatever mother you are or grandmother, that you would send your child, your beloved grandchild, into war to kill someone, blow someone up they never met before. Isn't this the time more than ever where we need to reach out to establish kindness, compassion, upliftment and wisdom to all of this planet? Isn't our foremost drive supposedly to be to help those that are suffering? And sure, I, I agree and I'm in Canada, what can I do? Yet my voice is heard all over the planet. What can I do? I can speak with each and every one wherever you are upon the planet. Search your heart. Put yourself in the moccasins of the other. And furthermore, isn't it better if there is balance? You know, when we listen to this gentleman in the United States called Obama and he said, spreading it around. Yeah, if you have 10 billion, do you need 10 billion to go tomorrow to the grocery store and buy food? How many cars do you need? Do you need 11 or 7 houses? Or do you need just a good vehicle to go back and forth to get whatever you need to travel? Isn't it good? And of course, yes, I am socialist. Yes, of course, I understand spiritual laws of not to be greedy. I understand the love of honor and respect all life and all living. I only ask all people around the planet to analyze and I urge you again into the knowledge that there is no death. Life is everlasting but it depends how you will leave it and how you will live it into the next life. With this, just food for thought and many, many, many very loving wishes. May the Creator bless and keep you wherever you are and may, of course, the great beloved 
energy of the all divine be less lasting and loving in your life to heal your family and yours and the great blessing to all these lovely soldiers who are now in confusion and suffering may you heal and be empowered may you find peace upon your path in your life upon this earth and i wish you well goodbye